Hi, good afternoon everyone. My name is Lloyd. Welcome back to my video series. For those of you who first time view my video, just a reminder, please go to the bottom and click on the subscribe button to stay tuned on my next upcoming video, right? So by subscribing to my video, you will receive a notifications when we do have a new video that we posted to everyone. In today's sessions, we are going to look into a demo on how to back up your KVM, all right, especially when you are running on Red Hat virtualization. Good things that uh, last week uh, Veeam announced on the latest products whereby you can now back up your KVM by using Veeam. This particular version uh, right now, the one that we tested uh, currently is the public beta, right? So this is the initial product that released by Veeam which allow you to back up agentless on KVM. Without further ado, let's look into our demo lab environments. So what I have here is uh, I already set up a KVM and let's try to log it in. So you have a clear picture about my environments. So from here, uh, I do uh, import in the RFG proxy a similar concept like AHB backup, you need to import the RHB proxy into the KVM, right? So once you have import in, in uh, it will act as a middleman whereby it allow you to connect to your hypervisor, okay? And also your Veeam backup server, right? We will walk through on the, the interface, okay? Uh, but from here, uh, I also created one virtual machine just for test purpose, right? And without further ado, let's go to the uh, the dashboard. So this is how it look like. Uh, let me uh, log out, and I'm going to log in. in. This is once you have already logged in, right? Uh, the next thing will be uh, let's go and configure some settings. So from here, you're able to see. Uh, I'm connecting to my Beam backup and replication server. And then the second setting is to connect to your KVM, all right? Uh, appliance setting is the place whereby you want to configure like IP address, uh, backup the config catalogs, uh, reboot the virtual appliance, or even open a case with Beam support. This is the place whereby you gathers the log file as well. Uh, networking. Uh, you enter the static IP address for this virtual appliance. Uh, you can define uh, to change the password or these kind of things. Time zone. Uh, yes, uh, we currently located in South Asia. So let me try and change this first. Okay. And I base in KL. Right. So let me change this. To Malaysia. Okay, Kuala Lumpur. Yes, there you go. Okay, click save. Right. Uh, update. Uh, we just recently just updated to the latest version. So this is the versions that I'm testing it right now. If you want to receive notifications uh about the new update. And even on your backup storage uh, threshold, you can configure from here. Uh, email settings, you can also configure from here as well. So by configuring from here, you're able to get a notifications about your uh, backup job status, either success, failure, or any warning. Okay. Uh, right now, uh, we're just going to disable this. So this is how simple for you to configure the proxy. If you go back to the dashboard, uh, you have a save view and look like a AHB backup. So from here, you're able to see the backup server connections, uh, your repositories con uh, connections, and also the status. And last but not least, also your, your job as well, right? In terms of uh, configurations uh, backup policy, this is the place whereby you configure your uh, backup job, right? Uh, do bear in mind, this is the first version and it's still public beta. So in case you want to uh, modify, you can just configure like this. Specify your name, 
and then uh, specify your virtual machines that you want to do backup. So you can just add uh, based on VMs or based on taggings, right? So you can just select from there. Okay. Right now, I already got one virtual machine. I click next. Uh, this is the place whereby you define your uh, backup target. So I point to SOVR and I define the retention point of three. Uh, you can change other settings, for example, uh, backup file maintenance, right? Uh, you can also schedule active full backup as well if you want to. Uh, next will be scheduling. Uh, you define when you want to run this backup job. Okay, you also have uh, options on retry in case of any failure. Uh, click next. Once you have done, you can click finish. This is how simple for you to create your uh, policy. Right. So I'm not going to apply this. Right. And then uh, if you want to execute full backup, active full, you can execute from here. Or uh, you can also run a uh, backup manually as well. Right. So this is how it looks like uh, on the dashboard. Uh, it's currently running backup. And if you go back to the Beam backup server, which is, we already uh, is reside on here, All right? Uh, if you go up from here, uh, you're able to see from the Beam backup servers, uh, there's one job uh, which pointing to the KVM. This, this is how, how it looks like. Uh, currently, it's starting. Uh, right now, if you go to the bottom, uh, you will notice the KVM backup is running right now. Uh, let's back to the dashboard. Okay, this is uh, how it's progressing right now. And it's doing an uh, incremental backup. All this is backup agentless. Okay, that means there's no agents that you need to install on the virtual machine. Uh, we are using a snapshot to do backup, right? So this is the new support uh, on the latest hypervisor by using Vim to do data protections. Right, so we will wait for a while and we will pause the video. We will resume back once it's finished back up. Well, uh, this is how it looked like. Uh, the backup is already completed. Uh, currently, it's checking for retention policy. Right, and uh, let's click on close and then go to back to the dashboard right uh, it's finished right let's move on to the beam backup server so from here um, if you want to check your the backup data status uh, let me view on whole screen okay. so on the backup status uh, this is where uh, just now we create the jobs and this is where uh, all your backup data are located on the Beam backup server, right? And then uh, if you go to property, uh, from here, you're able to see uh, I got a full backup and then I also got incremental backup. And the best part about here is we do include it with a built-in compression and video, right? To reduce your backup size, right? Okay. Now, Let's move on. Uh, the next thing will be uh, in case you want to view your uh, backup uh, status. Uh, let's go back to here. Mm, let's see. Okay. You can click on report. Okay, so you can able to see your, your progress, right? But let's back to the backup data. Uh, in terms of recovery, what is your option? Uh, the KVM backup you able to restore to uh, AWS EC2, Microsoft Azure, and then uh, Google uh, GCP. You can export out the backup data, right? And uh, you can do a file level recovery. And the beauty here is you can also execute instant recovery. The KVM backup running on virtual uh, uh, Red Hat virtualization you can power on into VMware or Hyper-V. That's the best part about this, right? So what we're going to do right now is let's 
do a try on instant recovery to VMware. Okay, uh, let's go and restore to this KVM to a host which is located on your server. Okay, so point to one six six. Right, and then let's uh don't connect the network. Okay, uh we are going to power on. Okay, let's do that. Okay, uh while waiting, let's open the explorer. Okay, and point to my PSX server. Okay, with 166. Let's go back to here. Okay, right now there's no uh, KVM Linux yet. Uh, let's go back to here. Uh, Beam are very famous of instant VM recovery and they can do it within less than three minutes. Right now, uh, it start to mount the backup data uh, by using uh, the vpower nfs technology okay into the vmware right and if from here you're able to notice the duration definitely is less than three minutes right uh, the next thing will be uh, they are doing uh, is doing a conversion so this will take a while depend on uh, the size of your virtual machines Right, so we are back. Uh, definitely, you won't able to instant power on within less than three minutes because uh, from here we able to notice that is doing a conversion. All right, uh, most likely will be from KVM converted to VMware. Right, and uh, right now it's already power on, and let's go to the ESX host. There you go. This is the virtual machine right that run from kvm okay we can instant power on into vmware right so this is how it looks like uh password <laughs> uh frankly speaking i can't remember right but anyway it works right all right uh once we are done uh you can just right click to stop publishing let's do that it will discard the changes right and then uh from here you will notice that uh this particular vm will be terminated right there you go right so that is how instant uh recovery work now let's move on to let's look into for example uh you can also export out the backup data okay from kvms into uh vmware virtual disk or even hyper v virtual disk right this is the best part for this right and then uh in terms of file level recovery let's have a look at it uh we do have a flr okay for windows and linux uh, this is the Linux VM, right? So let's just wait for a while for it to mount. Okay, let's select your stop point, use the helpers, right? Wait, browse. Right, so let's expand this and there you go. You can just right click and restore your folders and then you can also restore files as well right so that is how it works then uh if you are planning to uh, for example okay if you want to make a copy to another site uh you can create a backup copy job so you can just specify rsv backup 
closer to another location uh, you can also create backup to tape as well right okay uh, let's back to the dashboard okay we're going to check what other things that's there uh, on the dashboard itself uh, beside then creating your jobs uh, you can go to protector vm so this is uh, where it will display once this uh, already do backup uh, you can see the same thing like the from the beam backup server there are three restore points here right uh, you can click into that and then you can see full copy incremental uh, you can do a disk restore or you can do a restoration right, as well right so this is how it looks like okay restore to original locations alternate uh, uh, alternate locations or this kind of things right so this is the place whereby you want to do a full recovery of your whole entire virtual machines uh, you can you do have an options to do a disk restore in case you do have multiple disks uh, you can just select and do a specific disk that you want to do recovery right okay uh, well that that's all uh, about how to uh, okay let me cancel this right so that's all uh the next thing will be on the events uh you can view your sessions your history all from here uh then uh, you can just click into each of them to view more details right uh that's all for today uh hopefully you have a clear understanding on how to back up your red hat virtualization uh do bear in mind this is still uh first version and it's available for you to test it as a public beta right if you are interested to know more uh, please go to the beam website and play around with this particular products and do let us know how's your feedback on this particular product in the comment sections right so that's all for today thank you very much and see you next time bye